Hello everybody, it is L.E. Diecast, and we are going to be looking at the Matchbox Land Rover Discovery Series. I found these at Walmart. I No, no, I did not. You know what? I did find one of these at Walmart a while back, and I found the set at our Dollar Tree store. So they are showing up at Dollar Trees, and there were quite a few of them. And, uh, well, you'll see by the review, I can kind of figure out why. I, I'm not sure these sold too well. <laughs> so, as much credit as I've been given Matchbox, uh, this this series, I don't know if it's going to uh, to get as good of a review. So, uh, they usually, at Walmart, they were a little bit more than the normal Matchbox cars. At Dollar Tree, they're just uh, the regular dollar. So, if you want to set uh, pick up the set, you certainly can. At Dollar Tree, I think, these days. There are the cars in the series. There's six of them. The packages do not have different uh, numbers on them, and you only get that one image. I'll get you the whole image. It's right there. That's the whole image. They're all the same. So, kind of the budget treatment that Matchbox is giving these. We'll take a look at them. You'll kind of see the, uh, the issues that I've got with them as we go along. So these are dated 2016 by the way. Uh, they didn't show up much of my Walmart at all when they did come out, but like I said, they're showing up at Dollar Tree now. Uh, first off, we've got this one. This is the Land Rover 90. Oh, by the way, I said this is the Land Rover Discovery series. I was reading off one of the uh, one of the packages. This is just the Land Rover series. This is the Land Rover 90. And a pretty nice car, but this one is the main issue I have with this series is very few of them have insides. Uh, you'll see that that is a blacked out window. There's no interior to these. Kind of odd. I don't really know why you wouldn't put an interior. I think most of these castings already had interiors. And if you're saving money, I guess that saves money. You're saving on the... Uh, the interior piece and then the windshield is basically blacked out but I don't know if you're looking for a little bit extra money I don't get it and they're obviously appealing to collectors with these because I don't think kids are going to be very interested in these and I don't think they did a very good job of the collector treatment on these so that is the Land Rover 90 again no particular order to these this one is the Land Rover Discovery which we've already seen before here on the channel because I picked this one up when I saw it and I really like this one because it has the interior. <laughs> Hard to see there in that shot, getting a lot of glare. But there is an interior to this one. Uh, different color rims. Nice tampo work on this one. Three color tampos. The tampos on all of these, well, not all of them, but you'll see are pretty good. All in all, I like this one quite a bit. Next up. We've got another one that you've already seen here on the show. I picked this one up also because it has an interior. And that is the Land Rover Freelander. By the way, we are going to take these out of the packages. There's no reason to keep these packages. And we're going to run them around on the diorama when we're done. Also, I should mention the cardboard that these come on is that cheaper cardboard, the thin cardboard. Pretty nice work on this one. It looks like all of them have at least three color tampos on them. That one's a four color, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's a four color tampo. So they did spend the money on the tampos on most of these. But that said, there are the back three of these. <laughs> and that is the Range Rover, is it the Evoke? I think it's the Evoke. Shield, really no tampos to speak of. They did do the, uh, the tail lights and the front end there but nothing to speak of on that one and that one has sat around for a while i don't think that one's going anywhere this one i think would have been a lot of people's favorite but i don't know that just the flat green with the black rims is going to do anybody anything and that is the land rover defender 110 and again this one really gets nothing this poor guy didn't even well i, oh, I take that back he got he got some headlights there but nothing on the back. And the last one in this set is the Land Rover SVX. Kind of a Jeep type vehicle. 
This one does have the headlights on it and a license plate, but nothing on the sides. And I know a lot of collectors like that. They like the flat colors, but I don't know what Matchbox is really going after in this one. Uh, I know they want to use the license. I, well, I shouldn't say I, I don't know what they're going after. I mean, they're a, they make cheap little toys and they wanted to use the license. <laughs> and they probably had a limited time to use the license, so they did to get these castings into their, their, uh, their mix. You know, build a relationship with Land Rover. But I do think they could have done a better job on some of these. And for the market that they're after, uh, I, you're not going to sell these for any more than a buck at a show if that's what you're after. So nobody's going to be collecting them. Um, I do wonder though, with these with these series, if you're after a little bit more money, you know, which you're probably paying for in the license, it, it might make more sense just to go with fantasy cars with Matchbox. I'd like to see them bring back something where they just go over the top of fantasy cars, charge a little bit more, and really go after the kid market with them. I think they're kind of going the wrong direction with these. But, uh, I picked them up. Yeah, what do I know? So, this one does have some nice, um, shiny rims. <laughs> so, we'll take them over to the diorama. We'll have a look.